We are back now with an update on a story just as disturbing as when we first reported it to you back in January. Indeed it is. From our follow-up file tonight, it has been now nearly 11 months since 55-year-old Guadalupe Adams was found murdered in her home in Golden Hills, a town in the Tehachapi area. Her own son, Madison Adams, was the only suspect. He was later killed in a shootout near the Nevada border. Now, 17's Jason Kotowski has obtained a new coroner's report on this case and continues to track this case. He joins us now with what he's learned uh, tonight. Jason, um, what does that coroner's report, does it say anything about a motive? Uh, unfortunately, the, the coroner's report does not give a motive. It details, it provides a vivid description of the crime scene, um, of the call that was made from uh, Guadalupe Adams' daughter, who had gone to check on her mother. She failed to show up to, for work that day. Uh, she called authorities and let them know she had found blood in a bedroom. Uh, deputies arrived, went into a bathroom off the bedroom, and found the mother's body in, a, in the shower stall. Uh, it, it doesn't say anything about Madison Adams, the son, leaving a note about what he'd done or anything, any other information that coroner's reports sometimes contain about relatives saying anything as to why Madison yeah. Adams may have done this. Hmm. Yeah, how did they quickly hone in on him as a suspect? Because that was pretty quick. It was, it was very quick. He was almost immediately identified as a suspect. Uh, one, he had recently moved back in with his mother and was the only person living with her there. Two, it was very suspicious in that he was contacted by phone and told of his mother's death, but didn't return home. He said he was going to come home, but out Hours passed without him returning home. And three, they pinged his cell phone and found that not only had he left the county, but he was headed toward Nevada, toward the state line. Mm -hmm. And when he did die uh, by gunfire in an, in an incident involving police near the state line, they did find evidence in his car that he was responsible for the killing. So his emotional state is called into question by the events of, that preceded her death, Guadalupe Adams, and his death at the Nevada border. So, but, but still, that remains uh, unbelievable undetermined at this point, right? It remains undetermined. The only uh, other piece of evidence we have is from a court document that was filed around the time of the killing. It was a search warrant in which a friend of uh, Madison Adams had said that he had made suicidal statements uh, the day before his mother's death. Very uh, but other than that, no other indication as to why he did this. All right. Mm -hmm. Jason Gatowski, thanks for the update. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.